I want to go through a riff. In this major political turnaround, House Republicans unanimously backed Louisiana Congressman Mike Johnson for speaker. A spirit of jubilation is how I would describe it, and a huge momentum change from a depressed GOP conference a few days ago. Now, suddenly, optimism, confidence, roll up our sleeves, and we're going to get back to work today. Mr. Johnson won in the first ballot of voting on the House floor and gave, here's the thing, he gave a really well-delivered speech, touches of humor included, fascinating to watch for me, music to my ears. Speaker Johnson quoted scripture, the Declaration of Independence, Ronald Reagan, and free markets. It doesn't get any better than that for me. I could have written it myself. Folks, now get a pencil, please, and get a little index card in order to take some notes. Here's what Johnson said. So what is our creed? We hold these truths to be self-evident, that all men are created equal, not born equal, created equal. And they are endowed by the, the same inalienable rights, with the same inalienable rights, life, liberty, pursuit of happiness. That is the... That is the creed that has animated our nation since its founding, that has made us the great nation that we are. How about that? You know, a little, little index card, just like that. You can take notes as I have. He, now, Mr. Johnson talked about our national motto, quote, in God we trust. How, how is that such a huge contrast with Marxism or with communism, with their premises that there is no God? And Mr. Johnson quoted the conservative, high church Catholic British philosopher and statesman G.K. Chesterton, who said that America is the only nation in the world that is founded on a creed based on God. Boy, I love that. Now, Mike Johnson reminded us of Ronald Reagan, who in his farewell speech, to paraphrase the Gipper, said he wasn't a great communicator, but that he communicated great conservative principles. Well said. Mike Johnson's a young-looking, energetic, well-spoken, well-turned-out. He's a graduate of LSU and LSU Law School. He's from Shreveport, Louisiana. By the way, that's an oil-producing state. Drill, baby, drill. He's in his fourth term in Congress, and he also worked on Donald Trump's impeachment legal team. Mr. Johnson outlined his early agenda, which is to support Israel, stop the catastrophe at the southern border, and rein in federal spending and inflation. He sent a strong message to our adversaries, and he said, and I'm going to quote, let the enemies of freedom around the world hear us loud and clear that the people's house is back in business, end quote. And he ended by saying, quote, the best days of America are still ahead of us. God bless the USA, end quote. Folks who watch this speech will undoubtedly agree with me. This is the political comeback of the year by Mr. Johnson and the Republican House Conference, and I'll just add, in the nick of time. All right.